Page 140, variations on the theme from the celebrated canon in D. Well, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Most everybody's heard the Pachelbel canon in D, and this is taking some of the melodies from it, and it's doing variations on it. It's a theme and variations. You present the theme first, the basic melody, and then you do variations on that. It's a little tricky. It's a little deceptive. So let's just talk about this first. This first page on page 140 looks really simple enough because it's all just half notes. I mean, how hard can it be? Well, it can be because this pattern in the left hand that starts this, the watch the fingering carefully. It's one, three, one, three, two, three, then do it again. It's just like the same pattern over and over. It's important that you get this drilled into your left hand because you're going to have all kinds of things going on in the right hand and you're not going to have time to think about this in the left hand. So get this in the left hand so you it's almost automatic. It's just going to repeat throughout for the most part. Not totally, but for the most part. Then in the second line, the right hand comes in finally with half notes. It's building up in the third line. You got two note chords in the right hand. Watch the fingering. Now, this whole thing is legato pedaled pretty much throughout. So the pedal's going to help connect everything. However, try and connect it with your fingers as much as you can. Top of page 141. Now it's got a little more variation, a little more involved in the right hand. All the time you're doing this, that left hand is just that steady pattern. Second line, 141, the right hand gets a little more tricky. See? want to hear the half notes because those are the notes that came out first this is the main melody this is really it's not much of a melody but it is there all this other little stuff is just ornamental stuff and it should be in the background so even though you're having to focus on this careful not to play it really loud because it should be background we want to hear the high note And then in the third line, it gets more involved in the right hand. It really is a broken chord. Watch the fingering. Use their fingering, it's fine. Then finally, in the last line on page 141, it gets even trickier. So whenever you started out on page 140 with these half notes, you think this is so slow and so boring, I'm going to speed this up. And that is a major mistake. Don't. Because you got to keep the same pulse throughout the whole piece. And when you finally get to the 16th notes that are going lickety split, they're going to go too fast if you speed this up. So keep this really, really slow. Andante Moderato is kind of a nice strolling, it's just a, a it's like a strolling speed, sort of. It's a determined strolling speed. It's a little faster than a stroll, but it's not moderato. It's a little slower than moderato. Um, I don't know what it is. You, you figure it out. It's just one, two, three, four, one, two. It's real, sounds really slow, but when you get to the 16th notes in the right hand, it's not slow. While I'm on these pages, before I go on, I, I want to mention the dynamics. Not only does it start out real simple and slow, it starts out really, really soft. It should be very soft. It should be just Barely playing it. Not so, this is not as soft as you can play, but it is very soft. And you're going to stay soft until you get to the second line on 141. Then you're just a little bit louder, so it now it comes all the way up to soft. Wow. And soft is for these notes, the, the half notes. 
Not, not the other stuff. The other stuff has to be very soft. Keep it down, soft. And you keep it soft for the rest of the page. Don't grow it. Just, just you're getting more involved with it. The intensity is growing, but not with the dynamic. 142 is a continuation of what we've been doing, except it's just getting more involved and more involved. In the right hand, you have this pattern. And, and the dynamic went up to a medium soft. Yeah. And that's too fast. Because when I get to the 16th notes on the next page, that's too fast. Think 16th notes when you're first playing it on page 140. Think one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a, and that's how fast. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a, and that'll keep these eighth uh, these half notes slow enough so that when you get to over here on page one forty three, you're not lost. So if I go this fast, one e and a two e and a, then the Quarter notes are one, two, three, four, and the eighth notes are one and two and three and so at the top of page one forty two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And again the melody is the top note. According to the way it's written, the melody is the top note. So you can work those out. Then in the second line, you're thinking, so where's the melody? Well, the melody is still the top note in the right hand. It's just an eighth note, though. Like so. Then in the third line down, same for the right hand. Now the left hand gets a little more involved. Now you can't use that pattern that you've been fingering pattern. Now you've got octaves, so you're going to keep fingering octaves. Five one five one five one. Might have to look it out at the piano a few times. Hopefully you eventually get to the point where you do not have to look at the keyboard, even moving the left hand. You can feel these where from here to here. You'll you'll just have a sense of how far that is and be able to move there without looking eventually. At first you're going to have to look. The problem is when you look down and do that you can't mess up the beat. The beat goes on so you, you got to figure out how to do this. You're going to look down it's probably just a glance down to see where it's at. So that's going to go on and then you get down to the last line on page 142 it calms down a little bit but it's loud. We've gradually built up to loud. <laughs> Etc. And then there's a little retard at the end, which I'll ignore when I play with a metronome. And then we get to 143. Now they're saying slower. I don't know about slower. I mean, in my mind, this thing ought to keep the same speed throughout the whole thing. But this is an arrangement, it's a theme of variations, and the person who did the arrangement wants this to go a little slower. Well, that tells me that you can do the first part a little faster then, because you don't have to worry about the 16th notes there, because you're going to slow it down. How slower? Well, it's up to you. you got 16th notes. How are you going to do it? So I will. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Then in the second line, they're saying even slower still. So we How slower? Again, that's up to you. Frankly, I don't agree with the slower part. I would keep it the same speed throughout, but that's all right. Then in the third line, the last measure, they're saying my stoso. My stoso is majestic. It's like, here I am. This is like the climax of the piece. Fortissimo, and you can be my stoso, and then at the very end, it's a molto oligarno. Molto means a bunch, and oligarno means spread it out. 
scratch it out. So the last two measures. Ta-da! I still disagree. I prefer this piece done at one speed throughout the whole thing. It's just a personal thing. Do you slow it down if you want? It's up to you. When we do the play with me part of this, I'm not slowing it down. We're going to take the whole thing at one speed, which is super slow anyway, from beginning to end. Now we're going to do pages 140, 141, and we're going to stop, turn the page. I'm going to count us in again, and we're going to do pages 42 and 43. And hopefully the things I've said on this video are similar to the things I said on the other video when I covered this piece for a different alphabet book. I don't know, I'm too lazy to go look. Now this is the last piece in the book. If you've made it this far, congratulations. I put the metronome on 50, and it's quarter notes. It's going to make these half notes go really, really, really slow. But that's okay, because even when you're playing slow, you need to be focusing on what you're doing. And if you, you, you can count this, if this is too slow for you to count, you can't think of one, two, one. Then split it up. One and two and three, and then that's easier to keep track of that on a slow speed than the slow. So I can go one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And, and I'm not as apt to speed it up if I'll split it up in my counting like this. So I'm going to give us four counts. Let's try this out. You can leave the right hand down for a bit because you're not going to need it, but you will eventually need it up here. And the left hand's here. Foot's on the pedal. Here we go. It's just solid overlapping pedal throughout. Ugh, whatever. One, two, and ready, and go. And two, three, four. Focus on the music. Listen to it. Two. Turn the page, right hand here, left hand, foot on the pedal. One and two and ready and go and.
four, hold, two, three, four, 